There's other stuff. Regardless of your actual position, 
you lead. And you teach people to, to act and perform safety. You encourage an environment of safe attitude. You influence those attitudes. You teach the risks and mitigations that are in place. You act if you need to. You step up to make a bad situation into a safe situation. And then you debrief. Hey, what could we have done better so that we don't make this mistake the next time and we don't go down the same road? Zero fatalities, mishaps, is not a goal. It is completely achievable, right? It is something that is premeditated. You plan for it. Going on a long drive, you know that your car's tires haven't been changed in seven years. They're going bald. You plan to buy new tires because you know that you're taking your family on a six-hour road trip to Disney World, right? It's knowing that you're going to do skydiving or some other water activity for the first time and you plan to have the right equipment going out the door and not just you know go with what you got or, or try it uh, and not spend the money this time because uh, you know you're not really sure if you like it. It's about being safe the first time. It's deliberate. It's purposely doing things and changing your habit patterns this summer to make sure that you and your families make it through the summer alive. It's saying, hey, I know my personal norm. I might cheat a little bit and occasionally glance at my cell phone or I hear that little ringer go off and I just want to see it. And as I'm driving, I do something that I know I'm not supposed to be doing involving my cell phone. And it's saying, hey, I'm going to deliberately turn that thing off, lock it in the glove compartment, do something different this summer because I don't want to be one of those 407 people on the road that are going to get bored of this weekend. Okay? It's assertive. It's about stepping up and doing the right thing. A bunch of folks over your house, having a good time. Guys like, oh, whew, I didn't see the time. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. Just as he, you know, starts heading for his car. And you're like, stop. We have a plan in place. Taking the keys away from him and saying, hey, you're going to sleep on the couch. What Molly's going to drive you home. Whatever it takes, it's stepping in and being, hey, we're going to stop this bad situation from happening. It's being the passenger in a car and being willing to say, hey, dude, can you slow down? It's not a race. You know, we got all the time in the world to get there. Hey, are you tired? You look like you're dozing off there. You want me to drive? These simple things can save your life and save your family from having to, uh, to worry about a funeral instead of having a good time in summer. And the last is zero is completely achievable. Because going back to the 29 to 30 deaths, completely avoidable have we done some simple basic things. And they're a lot oftentimes the simple things. So I encourage you to get out there and lead to encourage that safe mentality and have a safe and uh, healthy summer. Ladies and gentlemen, 33 finally commander from October.